So today we're going to be looking at the AC security control family and we're looking at AC1 security control. I hope you enjoy this. AC1 deals with policy and procedure. So that's the control name is policy and procedure. And this is under the access control family. So this is AC, access control, AC1. So AC1 has to do with policy. So how um, the definition, the purpose, um, and things of that nature. Most of the security controls um, that have dash one um, mainly deal with like policies, okay? So let's look at what AC1 entails. All right, so they're asking for the organization to develop um, a document that uh, contains um, the policy, uh, the mission um, business process of the information system and um, the purpose, scope, roles and responsibilities. So who the admins are, who the managers are, all that has to be listed in the document and the assessors will be looking for these key um, areas and if they don't see it they might fill that control okay so here's an example of a policy and procedure or procedure document um, this is a made-up agency which we call the FEA um, so you're gonna as an assessor you're gonna look at the table of contents to see where it says purpose and scope, or you could just do control F and search and type scope or purpose just to find those keywords. But you would go here to see if the document does have a scope and purpose section um, and any other uh, criteria that's listed in AC1 management commitment. So if this is included in their procedure or policy document, then as an assessor, you would go ahead and pass that control. I have a cybersecurity course called the Security Control Assessor course. This course trains you on how to become a security control assessor, also known as an SCA or a SCA. Now with this training, it's going to show you step by step on the job training what a security control assessor does, how the security control assessor prepares for an assessment. If you don't know who a security control assessor is, a security control assessor is one who assesses security controls. Security controls are things or measures that you put in place to reduce risk to an acceptable level. So this training will show you the ins and out on how to become a uh, SCA. It also comes with a certificate of completion, um, resume, pr resume prep videos, uh, interview prep videos. It also comes with tons of resources, templates that you would use on the job. So if you are considering a career change or a field within cybersecurity that requires no technical skills and it's only about the compliance side of cybersecurity which deals with policies, procedures, and things of that nature. As a security control assessor, you're going to be looking at documentation, reviewing documentation, and writing your comments saying, hey, this passes, this fails, this is not right, uh, this is correct. Uh, so that's pretty much what a security control assessor does. You look at evidence and you determine if the evidence is satisfactory or not. And you have a cheat sheet with you 
to um, use as your guide. So for more information, sign up for this course, and I promise you, you will not regret it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. We're also on IG at CyberFirstSolutions. Thank you.